Welcome back from the Palm Beaches to the Treasure Coast. Sea turtles' nests are a pretty common sign. We know that. But this year, we are seeing them at a record pace. I'm just going to scooch over so you can see how okay. cute this guy is. <laughs> and that's thanks to groups like Gumbo Limbo Nature Center, which helps keep our turtle population safe and thriving. First warning meteorologist Glenn Glazer is at their Sea Turtle Conservation Center, and he's joining us live. Glenn? Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Shane. Yeah, we're back here again. You just saw the turtles that are going through rehabilitation. Now I'm going to introduce you to David Anderson. He's the conservation coordinator uh, here at, uh, at Gumbo Limbo. And, you know, people often write to the station. They call on the station. They say, I found a sea turtle. I don't know what to do with this baby sea turtle. What should I do with this baby sea turtle? You got the answer. I do. Yeah. We are one of the FWC approved drop off locations for hatchlings found on the beach. Yeah. And it's not uncommon for people to find hatchlings on the beach. Uh, hatchlings have become disoriented because of artificial light pollution and maybe yeah. up in the dunes instead of down by the water, or they may get entangled in the, the sargassum seaweed that oh, we're yeah. seeing on the beach. So it's not uncommon for people to find hatchlings. And we are our drop off location where we have this, what we call a hatchling drop off box. Okay. And these are the three species of sea turtles that we often encounter in this drop off box because those are the three species that nest. So we check this box frequently all day long and when we open it we will often find hatchlings that the public has found and brought to us or some of our neighboring nesting programs. Maybe they did nest excavations and in inventories of their nest and brought the extra hatchlings they found in the nest. And you can actually pay to come out and watch you release hatchlings. You can come watch the hatchlings being released. Yes, we do have a public program, a sea turtle uh, hatchling release program, yeah. every Monday through Thursday for a seven-week period this summer. We just started. This is our first week. And the hatchlings that, that are dropped off in this box, in, in, plus the hatchlings that we bring in off the beach ourselves from our own nest excavations, we put them in buckets like this bucket here, yeah. put a towel over it, and we will put them in a nice, dark, safe location. And oh. that very same night, go out and release the hatchlings. That's very cool. And we are seeing, as I know Shane and Tiffany have mentioned, uh, we're seeing some record breaking nesting across the area. Indian River County had broke all kinds of records with leatherback turtle nests. Uh, this area you think might break records with loggerhead turtle nests this year. And this is maybe due to, to decades of conservation efforts of keeping the turtles alive and keeping them safe. They keep coming back and nesting in the same places every year. That is indeed the yeah. case. We hope that's yeah. the reason. All of these decades of uh, conservation efforts are finally starting to pay off and we're seeing nesting numbers increase for all species, wow. but particularly here in Boca Raton, loggerheads are, are maybe breaking a record this year. Thank you guys so much for having me here today, having Chuck and me here today to, to take a look at the hatchlings, the big turtles. Remember, big turtle release tomorrow, 4.30 p.m. Spanish River Beach. I hope you guys can make it. I'll send it back to you in the studio. It's 96 degrees in the shade right now. <laughs> <laughs> so great to hear about those record-breaking numbers. Glenn, oh, yeah. thank you. Enjoy